So you might be trying to figure out how you can maintain and keep your always on display basically for your iPhones that have that, you know, standby mode. Well, the iPhone 14 Pros are the only ones and newer are the ones that basically have the ability of staying on all the time. After 20 seconds, apparently it turns off. So if you have an iPhone, like an iPhone that is a little bit older, if you want to go ahead and actually have it always on, what you can do is you can use this specific shortcut right here, which I will leave linked down in the description. So you can go ahead and basically just download it, you know, the Siri shortcut from there. And basically what this shortcut allows you to do is that after 20 seconds or so, it will just keep that specific shortcut on. It will basically, you know, maintain that shortcut and it will keep your always on display specifically for that standby mode on all the time. So that's an option that you have and it's actually very cool. So to get started, I'll leave this specific Reddit, you know, link in the description. From here, you want to go ahead and click on this iCloud link right there and it's going to take you into Siri shortcuts. Now it's quite, this specific one's called always on for pro people, it's kind of funny. So now you can click add shortcut. And then what you're going to want to do is you can probably just go and click on it and have it run if you want to. So you want to allow it basically to have the ability of allowing notifications and anything else that it needs. So you can click allow right there and you can go and click on continue. And then from there, that's basically it. So this thing will go ahead and basically start up like any other shortcut. And from there, you're going to be basically be good to go. So it's going to say always on automation has started. So now if you go ahead and make your way over to your specific always on display, so you can run this at night when you're actually going through and you're you know, actually using always in your you know, standby mode. So from there, you can go and trigger on your standby mode as you normally would. So if I go and plug my iPhone in like this, and if you have standby mode on, it should also just automatically turn on, hopefully at some point like this. I guess sometimes it takes a time and honestly, most of the time it doesn't even work, which is very, very weird. But then over time it should go and turn on, hopefully. But when you go ahead and use it, hopefully that should end up working for you. And that's an option that you have. To turn it off, you can always just go back into the Siri shortcut up here, click stop, and that will go and turn off that shortcut. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.